Hey guys, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I want to talk about the D3 minor, the L3 minor, the S9 minor versus a 6 GPU rig. Which is the most profitable right now to mine? Then the question becomes, which one should you buy right now? Where should you buy it? And if you're going to buy it, what, you, what kind of coin do you want to mine? you want to mine Litecoin, Bitcoin, Dash? Um, because just because you buy a L3 Ant Miner doesn't necessarily mean you actually have to mine and receive um, Bitcoin or Litecoin. Uh, which pool should you use? A lot of different pool options out there. What's going to be the most profitable? And some other things like how much power do I need, the growth of the coin, and purchasing the coin straight out versus just mining. All right, so let's get right into it here. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple different websites you can that will help you to try to figure out which one's the best. So first one's cryptocompare.com front slash mining. Now this will give you a rough idea of what's out there right now. As new devices come out, this will change. The problem is it's giving you the stack prices if you purchase directly from Bitman or Bitmain and unfortunately they're back ordered and they always seem to be back ordered and it's it's kind of a cumbersome process to actually get the get these so if you order them and you get them back ordered it's been 15 or a box let's say they're back ordered two months you could be mining that whole time so it's potential money that you've lost and just kind of sitting there and you're not getting anything from it uh so the where i actually purchase my miners is ebay just because you can get them quicker um, you can make sure there's in stock, you can read some reviews, things like that. So I guess the question you guys have in your mind is what is the most profitable coin to mine right now? So I'm going to pull over here my, my rig and I'm using a program called Awesome Miner that's monitoring my three different, uh, four different miners. So we've got SHA-256, X11, Script, and Ethereum. So these are the different uh, cryptos that I'm mining temperatures. As I think you see right now, um, my X11 is high and my script is high as well. So what's interesting is these numbers jump throughout the day. So maybe 15 minutes ago, script was up to about 23, X11 was down to about 17. And basically what affects these is the coin prices. Um, so as Dash coin goes up, X11 is gonna rise um, and, and different things. And as Bitcoin rises as well, this will go up. So it, it's very, it's, it's actually like real life mining. You don't kind of know what you're gonna get until you start uh, just doing it. And as you start picking away, you're gonna get some big gold nuggets and small gold nuggets. And over time, you kind of get an average out there. Um, here's some more details um, on, on the different, uh, the miners themselves. The, again, the L3 is getting script, uh, D3, is X11 and Bitmain right now. So if I had to choose right now, which one would, and then also my Ethereum. As you can see, the um, my GPU one is the Ethereum. That's getting the lowest amount. Um, I also paid less for it, but it's not getting too much. So that definitely is out. I would not get a uh, GPU rig um, that is basically this guy right here. And it's, it's got a bunch of from graphics cards. I would not build that right now. That would not be my choice. Um, so the choice becomes between the D3, the uh, L3, and the S9. Um, my choice right now would definitely be the script or the L3 plus. A couple reasons why. First is power. It uses a lot less power consumption than the other miners. Um, you can just use a regular 110, where some of the other units are gonna need 220 volts just because of how much wattage they take. So that's one reason. The second, overall, when I've been monitoring the profit here, it's been very profitable throughout. It's been pretty stable. Um, so that is definitely the one I'd go with. Now, that being said, next month, I mean, if, if the price, of course, of Dash or X11 things double, then you know it might be a different scenario. Um, the SHA-256, these guys have been out for a long time. There's huge factories uh, of these miners out here. So that could be a good thing, could be a bad thing uh, for the stability of, of the price. But the script and X11 are pretty new and haven't been out there as much. So it's interesting, at least the kind of a home user can get in kind of on the ground floor is how I look at it. All right, so that's, that's, that would be my, my quick choice on which one I would buy right now. 
the other question becomes, well, where should I buy it? <laughs> Which is actually sometimes the harder thing to find. So where you should buy it, my personal choice is eBay. You could also check Amazon. Uh, just a couple things to look off for on eBay. So if you're looking for L3 Miner, what I could go down here is a hit price, minimum $1,000, anything below that, you're probably not getting a real miner. Buy it now only, US only, if you live in a different country, choose a different country here. Uh, organized by price and lowest first. Now, here's the problem. Some of these are pre-orders, so you have to sift out what's a pre-order and not a pre-order. Um, this one says in hand, so I'm assuming this is in hand. I'm looking at the guy's reviews. He's got plenty of reviews, plenty of positive reviews. He's going to ship it out pretty quick. And as you can see, this is actually a pretty good price, so um, this is probably a steal. This won't last very long, and you kind of have to kind of monitor eBay for these deals. Uh, this is also including the power supply. A lot of them don't include the power supply. Keep that in mind. If you don't order with power supply, you're going to have to order that separate, um, which is fine. Just just be aware of that. Um, so basically, you could order this, get this in, plug it into the network. It's very easy to set up. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there on how to set it up. Um, the other question is, when you do set it up, where do you want to mine it? Um, just because it's a Litecoin miner doesn't mean you actually have to receive Litecoin. You do have to uh, mine into something called the script uh, algorithm, but you don't necessarily have to receive um, Litecoin. So what I do is I use a, a place called Nice Hash, um, and basically this is pretty much the most profitable place to mine. It is constantly changing and, and mining different coins. And you actually go to here uh, another website to check out whattomine.com. Uh, as you can see, we can compare the different algorithms and see what's most profitable right now. And it'll actually tell you your profit output looks to be about twenty dollars if you are mining. Um, this algorithm right here and then you can go down you can see the x11 algorithm and as you can see most of the time nice hash is on the top one two or three and if you were to mine something like this coin you got to convert it to Bitcoin and it's really annoying so what I do instead is just use nice hash and they pretty much spit out um, Bitcoin to me once a week it uh, adds up adds up pretty quick um, let me just see here if I can so it has this nice little web interface. As, as you can take a look, we can look at our miners right now. Um, we can see kind of the estimated payout. It pays out weekly. It goes into the um, Bitcoin address uh, wallet of your choice. And it's just a weekly payout. And you can see my last week payout here was this amount, which is around $300-ish. Um, and what's neat is as you mine, let's say the price of Bitcoin uh, doubles. Well, then the whole last year I've been mining, this now also doubles. So right now it was worth $300, but if the price goes up, then actually it was mining $600. Or let's say the, tri the price goes up four times, then I would be my getting $1,200. As long as I hold on to that Bitcoin and I don't convert it to a different currency. Um, but I just prefer to keep it in Bitcoin. And then I do have some altcoins, but um, I just trade those later. Um, I do all my mining and receive Bitcoin. All right, so that is pretty much what I use, where you should, what pool you should use. Uh, we talked a little bit about power. Uh, again, if you get some of these other miners like the D3 and the S9, you're gonna need a 220 plug, which can be a pain to get an electrician and stuff like that. If for some reason, maybe you, what I like to do is I, I got multiple miners, so each one, and L3, D3, S9. So I'm kind of hedging my bets, depending if one coin goes up or down or um, algorithm goes up or down, I'm kind of, um, hedging them. Um, one thing's again, look at these different, uh, if I'm looking here, you make sure it says ready to ship. A lot of them are pre-ordered about a couple times ordered, thought it was, they had it in stock and then they emailed me saying, Hey, uh, I'm not going to be able to ship this for another month or two. Cancel the order and make sure you get something that's ready to ship. It, it's worth paying an extra three, $400 for that one that's uh, available to ship now because you're gonna get it in, you're gonna mine, and in one week, like I said, you get um, a couple hundred bucks worth right there. So if you're waiting a month, you, add, you can just add it up there. Um, S9's been out for a long, long time. I prefer to stay with Ant Miners. There's these other brands out there, Avalon, things like that. I'm not familiar with them. They're not, haven't been out there long enough to see if they're durable. And what's nice about mining um, versus just purchasing the coin, that's, that's another question a lot of people have, is, well, what, I could just go out to Coinbase and, and buy some coins. And you can, but where I just mentioned where I'm mining and, and I'm kind of getting my coins, um, I'm, I do have to pay some electricity costs, so that's something to be aware of. But 
I, I kind of prefer if something goes just horribly wrong with, with a coin or something like that, I still have a device. I have a device I can go back, I can sell it online and get some at least some cash back. Um, as prices go up and down, you know, it just kind of, it's a more passive way of investing, I find. Um, and it's just the way I prefer to do it. And it's kind of neat because, you know, you, you can mod it and change it and there's firmware upgrades and it's kind of just the more techie approach. You could also, let's say you don't have enough money right now, there are some options to go on eBay and buy pre-done mining rigs. Um, you're going to look here at your your hash. So like 130 hash for $2,000. You know, again, you're not generating too much income on something like this. I'm around 130 hash too, and you're only getting about seven bucks a day. So for the money, definitely an ant miner would be the way to go. Um, what's on mine here? Again, you can look at all, all the different uh, scripts, the prices, things like that. Um, another place to, to definitely look is coinmarketcap.com. I'd mentioned before, how, how do we know how much we're going to get, right? Well, right now, Bitcoin is at 5,600 bucks. Let's say that drops to half its value next week, right? Well, then my uh, profit is also going to be half its value, which would be half of $17. So this is very adjustable. As more miners come online, the price is going to go down. As the price of Bitcoin goes up, this would go up if the price of Bitcoin goes down. So it's constantly fluctuating um, and you have to kind of keep an eye on that. But I've been running this for maybe uh, 45 days and then been pretty steady around this this mark. You know, together you can see I'm, I'm generating about $2,000 a month. Um, there are some power costs in there as well, but all in all, I'd say the power costs probably be anywhere from 300 to $400 a month total for all the four miners. So not that bad. Um, and I'm just, what I'm, th how I'm thinking about it is I'm converting the money I'm spending in power to Bitcoin. So it's, so it's basically an investment for me right there. Um, you know, instead of paying the power company, I'm just kind of converting that money into Bitcoin. Um, so we talked about the most profitable coin, which one should I buy? Definitely the L3. Uh, where should you buy it? Definitely on, on eBay. Um, what should you mine? I personally like to mine with nice hash and that automatically convert it into Bitcoin. If you want to convert it later on to a Litecoin or another altcoin, that's your choice. But I think um, that's just something you should do after the fact. Um, all right, guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. And I'm hoping to do a couple more videos on kind of cryptocurrency, mining, and things like that. All right, thanks. Hey, guys, thanks for watching our video. If you have time, please subscribe to my channel, click here to watch more videos, or please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.